I'm Lilia Johnson and today I'm going to be upgrading my Unrage storage system, expanding the amount of hard drive bays in this case. Originally this case came with nine front loading bays, but we can expand on this using these enclosure modules, converting three bays into five. And as you can see here, I already have a five and three bay module installed. And I've got a second one here, which I'll also be installing. Before I continue, I'd like to recap on the Unraid system. Some of you may have seen the build I did on YouTube, which was about two and a half years ago now. So this case is a Sharkoon T9 value mid tower. So let's take a look inside and remind ourselves of what we have. I'm really happy with my choice of colour. That was lime and I picked it for lime green technology. I think that was a very good choice. At the moment you're looking at the super micro motherboard. I think it kind of looks quite small in this case because it's a micro ATX form factor. Under the caller is an Intel Core i3 processor. And I didn't really want to go for a fancy CPU caller because this stock caller should be sufficient for a system like this. There's eight gigs of RAM, which is quite generous for a network storage system. But the RAM was actually pretty cheap, so I'd rather have more than not enough. This USB memory stick is the boot device containing the Unraid operating system. And along here are the PCI Express lanes. These two here are version 3.0. I'm actually going to be using one of these a bit later. Here are six SATA 2 on board, and I've plugged five of them in already. They're going into five and three backplane module. There's one of them which isn't being used right now. Quite a few people on YouTube which asked me the same thing. That is how I'm going to be plugging in more hard drives when I only have six SATA ports. Well, the answer is very simple. That is with this PCI Express card, and this will give me eight extra SATA ports. But I'm going to be talking more about this later. Let's take a look at the hardware I'm going to be using today. So this is the IC dock, and the reason I chose to get this instead of the IC box is because of the trailer's feature in the hot swappable drives. And I'm really hoping that this is going to be much easier to use because on the icy box I just find these very fiddly. And every time I need to install a hard drive, I have to get the screwdriver out, the screws, and it's very tricky to put back in place. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling here. So I can try that out and see how it works. So let's take a look at the back of the icy dock. This is an 80 millimeter fan with three different settings. It's got low, high, or auto. So I think I'm just going to leave it in auto for now. Along the bottom, we've got three power connectors. And there's five SATA ports along the top. So with this IC dock, I'm going to be replacing the three drive bays here. This is where this will fit. If I really wanted to, then I could put another one here and use up the full capacity, and in total I'd have 15 drive bays. But then I would have the issue of not enough SATA ports. So here, this has six SATA ports on board, but the icy box is already using five of those, so there's only really one left. So you're probably wondering what I'm going to do about that. But that's not a problem because I have this PCI Express expansion card. And on here, there are two SAS ports. What I will be doing with these are using these two cables. And the good thing about this is each one I plug in will give me four extra beta ports. So once both are plugged in, that's eight in total. So you can work that out, 8 here plus 6 here, that's 14. But if I really did want to use all of these and have 15 drives, I 
might still need another one. So, if you're wondering how I would do that, I've got that figured out. I have another PCI Express card here. This one's actually a lot more simple. I've got two SATA ports on here. That would give me in total 16. So I would kind of have one redundant, unless I did something like plugging in an SSD drive maybe, unless I just didn't want to use that extra port. So that will sort out that future issue, but for now I don't really need to use it. I think I should really get on with installing the icy box. Well, because of this front panel header and the cables connecting this to the motherboard, it's looking like it's going to be quite tricky for me to remove these three here, but I'm sure I'll be able to get around it somehow. now been removed which has created some space for me to install the icy dock. And if I rotate this case around you can get a better look. I've got the power connectors here but there's not really going to be that much room me to plug these in so it's going to be quite fiddly so I think it will be a bit easier if I remove this and plug these in first I think that's what I'm trying to do now module and PCI Express card have been plugged in, I'm going to connect everything all up. Everything's now been installed, so I've powered this up just to check that everything is working properly. As you can see along here, there are four blue lights and this is on the icy box, which I already installed. So these blue lights mean that there are discs inside here already. And up here, this is the icy dock, which I've newly installed. So I just want to check that this is all working and connected properly. So I have a hard drive here. I also want to see how easy it is to place inside. And that was very smooth compared to here in the icy box. I'm just going to turn that on now. That was very simple. Very impressed with that. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I do hope that this helps you with your own Unranked project.